Welcome to Huntsford, a small market town in the heart of the English countryside. Sam asks Fiona how to celebrate Brenda's 80th birthday and Adam takes his car to Bob's garage for a service. I love it, Sam. I can't believe I finally got ombre hair. If it wasn't for Brenda, there's no way I would have got the money together. Brenda? Yeah, she's a close family friend. Kind of like the grandmother I don't have, I suppose. Is she really? Yeah, she's lovely. Mum's known her for years. She was my grandma's closest friend. I would never have known you were so close. No reason why I should, I suppose. She's like part of the family. She makes me laugh. She loves watching Friends. Can you believe that? Brenda likes Friends. I know, and I watch it with her sometimes. I paint her nails. I love spending time with her. She's cool. Actually, you're right. She is quite cool. She must be what? Mid-70s? No, she's 80 next week. 80? I know. Hard to believe, isn't it? Well, is she doing anything nice? She said she didn't want any fuss. So, Mum and I are taking her for tea at Carmella's. I can't believe she doesn't want any fuss. Me too. I'm going to ask Chantelle to do our nails as a surprise. Mum's as well. Oh, that's lovely. We should get her in here for a wash and a blow dry before you take her out. Can I come too? Yes. Why don't you? Seriously, I'm sure Brenda won't complain if loads of people turn up. It's only Carmella's. We can make it into a party. Do you think Carmella would do a private party? Well, I don't see why not. I bet loads of people would pop in on their way home for work for a slice of cake. Maybe a few bubbles? Oh, Sam, I think she'd love it. I'll see what Mum says. You do that and I'll speak to Dad and Fiona. I'll speak to Carmella as well. See what we can come up with. Here, put your number in my phone and I'll keep in touch. Here's the keys, Bob. What time do you think we'll be ready? Oh, this afternoon, mate. We we'll chuck her as usual. No problem. I'm working from home all week. Well, are we never see you these days, Adam. That job's got you jet-setting all over the place. <laughs> you sound like the wife. Sandra misses you when you're away, does she? Well, I don't know about that, but she seems to think I'm having a holiday every time I go away. It's really not very exciting. <laughs> Pays the bills, eh? It does, and, and there are plenty of them. <laughs> How's business? Saw some very smart young men in here the other day. Yeah, business is good. Robbie and me want to take on a couple of apprentices, so we've been interviewing. That's great. Good for the youngsters if they're willing. Well, they'll have to be if they want to work here, because it's pretty much non-stop. I won't have any slackers. If they want to get on, they'll work hard enough. I was reading this article the other day. (laughs) Well, it's political correctness gone wrong, isn't it? Robbie wants us to look at disabled access now, after all that fuss at Wavelengths. I can see where he's coming from, Bob. Well, so can I, but where does it end? We have to do what's right. I thought Charlotte did a good job on Anglia today. Did you see her interview? Well, I heard some of it on the radio. It'll all blow over. It will, but it'll leave its mark. You know Raymond, don't you? I met him a few times. He's cut my hair. Well, everything he touches turns into a disaster. It's Charlotte I feel sorry for, always having to talk her way out of his mess. Is that what the disabled access was then? A mess? Well, let's just say that Raymond went about it in true Raymond style. Apparently, what he said was... Oh, Sam, I think that's a lovely idea. Well, it's Mia's idea. She's really close to Brenda. I didn't realise. Yes, Brenda adores her and her mother. I'd never put Brenda and them together. Why? Why? Well, I don't know. Brenda's... Brenda and they're really posh. Dad, I can't believe you actually said that. This is the 21st century. It's not Dalton Abbey. Thank you, Sam. I'm well aware of that. And who does she think is going to foot the bill? First of all, she hasn't asked anybody to foot the bill. I suggested we should do something. And secondly, Brenda is one of our best clients. So why... You're right, Sam. She's one of our best and oldest clients. And between us, we can foot the bill. Who's we? Us, Carmella. See if Dave wants to put in. It's just a few sandwiches and a cake. Maybe a few bottles of fizz? It'll be early evening. (laughs) I don't know. She's going to be 80, not 50. This is Brenda we're talking about. Exactly. And I was thinking, get her in here. Glam up her wig. Chantelle's doing her nails. Is she? She started doing some mobile work. Does tans and eyelashes as well as waxing. Is that right? Well... Maybe we can give Brenda a discount. No, Dad. 
I mean for free. She's one of our best customers. Anyway, Sam, will you have a chat with Carmella and Dave and let me know what needs doing? We'll be done here by five and if we make Brenda the last customer of the day, we can follow her on to Carmella's. <laughs>